Dog video. This is a brand new exciting way for you to get a first-hand look at the Citadel through the medium of video. I'm Captain Glenn Rems and I'm going to be your host for Bulldog Video. Now some of you might already know me from Bulldog Radio. I also host that program. Right now my feet are firmly planted on the grass of Summerall Field right here at the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina. Now Summerall Field is also affectionately referred to as the parade ground. There's a really good reason why we refer to it as, as the parade ground, and that's because on Friday afternoons during the academic year, there are full military dress parades performed by the South Carolina Corps of Cadets. Now, the parade field, Summerall Field, is used for several other things. Oftentimes, you'll see rugby matches out here, intramural sports, and you'll see practice parades and ROTC training. And every once in a while, one of the ROTC departments will actually land helicopters out here. As you can see, it's kind of windy, but they land helicopters out here. And Lieutenant Hall is going to tell you a little bit about the history of aviation on Summerall Field. Hi, this is Lieutenant Patrick Hall here on the parade field at the Citadel, uh, getting ready to tell you a little about the history of aviation here at the Citadel. Now, as an Air Force brat, that's something I can definitely appreciate. Now, back in 1939, aviation here at the Citadel got its start. There was an aero club that was established to help cadets get interested in the possibility of service to their country in the field of aviation. They used a tiny little plane called the J-3 Piper, which was meant for classroom, flat ground, and flight instruction. So if you were interested in the future of serving your country in aviation, you were probably interested in joining the aviation club. Now, throughout the Citadel's history in aviation, we've had distinguished graduates uh, serve in their field particularly in the United States Air Force. Directly behind me, you'll see an F-4C Phantom flown by Lieutenant General Buck Schuler, Citadel Class of 1959 in the Vietnam era of the Citadel's history. Also, on static display, we have an AH-1 Cobra helicopter, also flown in the Vietnam era. Now, today at the Citadel, our president, the 19th president of the Citadel, Lieutenant General John Rosa, a command fighter pilot who has logged over 3,600 hours of flying time in planes such as the A-7, A-10, F-16, and F-117. Now, we're going to show you a little bit about what aviation at the Citadel is like today.
think about that. Where else can you go to college in the United States and have that happen right at your college or university? If you're interested in applying to the Citadel, now's the time to do so, especially if you're a high school senior kind of running out of time. We're getting close to the end of the application process. We only... Oh, okay. Now, I want to talk about timing. We're getting ready right now to land one of the Coast Guard helicopters right here on the parade ground. Lieutenant Hall, if you could get that for us right here. Go up and get that.